Now, unlike the Nintendo DSi versus PSP bit where I pretty much confirmed what I wanted, the camcorder situation is a little bit more complicated than that because, you know, I want to make sure that I get something that will last a long time. And the last camcorder I had was in 2003. That was when um, mini DV tapes were pretty much the, um, the thing. Now that is no longer the case. I have decided I will not be going the route of the recordable DVD, and that is because of the camera's um, inability to save before burning. Uh, the only way to do that is if you were to get a hybrid hard drive and or uh, flash card along with the optical burning, um, plus the DVDs don't really hold an awful lot of information at high quality, and I really don't want to have to lower the quality just to get better time. So, um, it's basically come down to hard disk drive versus flash. And here's what I've found so far. Uh, what's, what is kind of interesting, though, I will say this. JVC, if you Google their MS1, GZ MS100 and their uh, GZ MG330, uh, and you put the specifications side by side. You can actually compare the cameras. If you go to JVC's website under the Avario camcorder section, select one of them, and then go into the comparison uh, thing, they will allow you to compare the two cameras. And what you will be surprised to find is that they're literally the same camera. They even use the same battery pack. The only difference is that they use that one of them uses the hard drive. That would be the 330H and the one MS-100 uses the flash memory, but it does not have any built-in flash memory. It is an SD card. I'm really up in the air about which format to go with. Um, the issue I'm having is hard disk is a little bit um, more expensive up front, but, again, but it comes with a pretty sizable chunk of internal memory, roughly about 30 gigabytes, eight hours on high quality versus an SD card, which you have to purchase up front, and anything of a reasonable size, uh, depending on where you look, is going to be a bit pricey. For example, if you wanted to, now I'm not saying I want to, but if I, but if I did want to, um, equal, basically make the memory uh, sizes equal, 32 gigs of flash and a 30 gigabyte hard drive, that would require me to put an extra $400 down on the total purchase. And I just don't like that at all. Um, then again, at the same time, you know, with the flash cameras, they're smaller. Uh, there's no moving parts, which means they're more durable. Um, the hard drive cameras, uh, the, the, the one from JVC at least, um, there are some subtle differences between them. One of which is that the one with the hard drive does come with a remote. Um... But just in general, hard drive versus flash, I really don't know where to go on this. Um, the hard drive that's in the JVC cameras is a 1.8 inch hard drive, which is used um, in the i, which is similar to the one used in the iPods, uh, the iPod Classic in this case. Um, it um, has three three dimensional buffer protection, so that if a camera were to drop from a reasonable distance. The hard drive head would park, and you wouldn't have a problem with um, with um, uh, data loss. Now, what's interesting is, as you know, I'm considering multiple brands of cameras. The Panasonic that I'm looking at has an interesting feature. I don't know if the JVC has this, but not only will the Panasonic camera park the heads of the hard drive, it will store any recorded information into an internal memory buffer and when the hard drive is able to record again it will go ahead and transfer that information over to the hard drive so basically there's no loss in recording time um, but again like uh, particularly with the JVC's like I said they are literally the same camera with the exception of a few subtle differences and the memory format otherwise they are literally literally the exact same camera uh, like I said before, they even use the same power pack. So, what is your take on this whole hard drive versus flash? Um, I want to 
you know, keep the cost reasonable up front, but at the same time, I want to make sure that this will last for a good while. Because as far as overall formats go, um, I don't see changes happening um, in terms of the physical format itself. Uh, disk, memory card, and hard drive are here to stay. I know hard drive is slowly on its way out, but that depends on the application. Right now, flash is too expensive to really merit a total replacement of the hard drive as of yet. Um, I don't see that happening for another five, six, or maybe even longer uh, years. Um, so, yeah, what is your take on this? Hard drive versus flash. Remember, I'm looking at upfront cost as well as cost to own um, ratio. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome on the subject matter. Um, anything that is non-subject related and anything negative about me will be erased if I feel the discretion to do so. Thank you for watching and have a nice evening.